Hey everybody, today's video is about kites. Not the kind that you fly in the park, um, but this is a geometrical figure, figure called a kite. So a kite is a quadrilateral with exactly two distinct pairs of non, sorry, two distinct pairs of congruent consecutive sides. What does that mean? That's the definition. You need to know what the definition is saying, but it'll be helpful to know what the definition means. Here is a quadrilateral, it's a four-sided figure, and there are two sets of congruent consecutive sides. Here is one set of congruent sides. Here is another set of congruent sides. What we mean by consecutive is that the congruent sides meet one another. So these two congruent sides meet each other, and these two congruent sides meet each other. So congruent consecutive sides would be uh, um, the opposite, so to speak, of a rectangle or a parallelogram that would have congruent opposite sides. We think of this, a rectangle, has congruent sides that are opposite one another. So this is not what we're speaking of in this particular instance. We're speaking of a kite where the congruent sides are abut one another or are next to one another. So some other terminology we need to know in order to deal with kites. We're going to call these angles here the vertex angles. So the definition of vertex angle would be that the angles formed between the congruent sides, okay, the pairs of congruent sides, are vertex angles. The other ones, these two angles, are called non-vertex angles. Non-vertex angles are the angles formed between uh, a pair of non-congruent sides. So vertex angles occur between pairs of congruent sides. Non-vertex angles are the two that are uh, create where the two non-congruent sides meet one another. Okay, so let's talk about some properties of kites now. So we're going to talk about four facts about kites. The fact number one, non-vertex angles in a kite are going to be congruent to one another. What does that mean? In any kite, the two non-vertex angles, that is this angle right here, and this angle right here, the two angles that are formed where the two, where a pair of non-congruent sides meet, are going to be congruent. So non-vertex angles in a kite are congruent. That's fact number one. Fact number two, we can draw diagonals in the kite. A diagonal, diagonal in the kite is the, are the places, pardon me, are the lines or line segments formed between the vertices, pardon me, between the, yeah, the vertices of the kite. So here is one diagonal. And here is the other diagonal. <clears throat> so, fact number two. Diagonals in a kite are perpendicular to one another. That's always the case. So if I draw line segments between the corners of the kite, they will meet in a right angle every time. Okay, Num fact number three. The diagonal connecting the vertex angles of a kite is, is a perpendicular bisector to the other. So we can, we can visually see this one. <clears throat> we look at the two diagonals. The um, diagonal that goes from the vertex angles to one another, vertex angle is right here and right here. The vertex angles, the vertex angle bisect, uh, uh, diagonal bisects the other. So that's to say that not only do these meet in a right angle, but this one right here bisects the other. These two segments are the same every time. So the vertex angle uh, uh, diagonal bisects the non-vertex angle diagonal. It's a perpendicular bisector. And the final fact that we want to deal with here with kites is that the vertex angle um, diagonal bisects the vertex angles. These two angles here are congruent to one another, and these two angles here are also congruent to one another. 
So we have a lot of facts about a kite. Fact number one was the non-vertex angles are uh, of a kite are congruent. Fact number two, diagonals of a kite are perpendicular. Fact number three, the diagonal connecting the vertex angle, uh, vertex angles of a kite is perpendicular, uh, is a perpendicular bisector to the other diagonal. And finally, the vertex angles of a kite are bisected by their diagonal. So that's all we're going to talk about right now. We're going to put these to work next time in class. Um, next up, we're going to talk about some trapezoids.